In this video, we're going to show you how to disable the flashing taskbar items when you open a new program or if something's trying to get your attention in Windows 11 here. So let's see if I could demonstrate this first. So let's say you have some stuff open and you go to open another program. So you can see how it's flashing down there trying to get your attention. And sometimes if some other program is, you know, something else happens, it'll start flashing, uh, trying to ask you something as well, then it kind of takes your attention where you want to get, you know, concentrate on what you're doing and not be bothered by that. So to change this, uh, we have the settings open right here. So if you don't know how to get there, you go to personalization, taskbar, and then taskbar behaviors. And there's this button here for show flashing on taskbar apps. Then you can turn that off, and you can see how it stops, and then that shouldn't happen next time you uh, open another app or try to do something where it's trying to get your attention down there. And a couple other things I just want to tell you about while we're here uh, that's, that might be new to you is this option here. So if you use the uh, Microsoft Teams, you have now have this option to share any window from your taskbar. So this is only for uh, calls and meetings, not for chats. So if you were have a, a meeting going, which I don't have running here, you could you could hover over your uh, icon down here and you'll have an option to share it within your meeting. So that's kind of a cool feature. And this one here might be new to you too. Show recent searches when I hover over the search icon. So if you have the search icon enabled, then you could just kind of hover over and see your recent searches and then just pick one from there to get to it again instead of having to go there and click on it. And so to get that search icon there, back at the top of the taskbar personalization settings, if you don't have this on, if it's you know if you're missing that, you could then turn it on right here. And then same for the uh, task view widgets and chat if you use any of these features. And then finally, one other new thing. Before to open Task Manager, you'd have to do Control Alt Delete and then pick it, or you'd have to right click on Start and then pick Task Manager. But now, when you right click on the taskbar, you have Task Manager as well as Taskbar Settings. We used to just have the Taskbar Settings, so this is the way it was in Windows 10, so this is a nice feature for them to have back. So depending on when you're watching this and what build of Windows you're running, you may or may not have these features. If you have the 22H2, you should have them, or you should have them soon. Uh, this is a insider program uh, preview a computer here, so it gets the features early, so that's why I have them right now. So like I said, you might have them already, depending on when you're watching that. So anyways, just so you can check out the personalization settings. Turn this off if you don't like the flashing apps on the taskbar. And then, then this option's kind of cool here. And then if you use Teams, you have this option here. And of course, there's the other older options like select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop, which it should be enabled by default. Then we could click on that, show the desktop. And then have your old older options for automatically hide the taskbar. And if you're using a tablet, you got some options there. If you're using multiple displays, you could have to show the taskbar on all displays, and so on. So once again, check that out from the taskbar settings and kind of tweak it to make it work the way you like. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.